Texans by the thousands are heading north to Colorado to get a legal Rocky Mountain high. Governor Rick Perry here in Texas says he would like to ease the penalties for pot smokers, but that doesn't mean they would be completely in a clear. Local 2 investigator Jace Larson traveled north, finding Texans standing in line and handing over cash. Tonight he's revealing the problems that those people could face when they come back home. Boy, growing this amount of marijuana used to be something that would only be done in secret, but now Colorado has legalized marijuana for recreational use. Texans are now flocking to this state all to get high. It's a new day high in the Colorado mountains. Marijuana store owner Adam Raleigh is ready for customers. All right, gentlemen, how may I help you guys today? Adam sells buds, marijuana candy. So these are Chiba Chews. And THC lemonade. In just the first week of legal pot, 70% of my clientele were from Texas. Signs of us are everywhere. And before they even go get their ski gear or go get their rental gear or anything else, they come straight to us and get their cannabis. Texas is huge up here. This is where everybody comes. I mean, I see them stockpiling Pringles and Visine at the market, so it's kind of an ongoing joke. Texans here aren't afraid to buy what's not legal in our state. Now, I definitely like the idea of being able to indulge in something that was illegal before. You've got the little gray-haired old lady, mom, the 21-year-old. You have the Texans that look just like a highway state patrol cop. They're in here like, there's my ID. I want to buy. So those are the those are the kind of things I'd offer you. Barb is from Dallas. Because I have really bad back pain and I have shoulders and my whole back is a spasm. And so I tried a little bit of a candy bar the other night and man, I felt great in no time. State law says that Colorado residents can buy up to an ounce of marijuana at a time, but out of state residents can only buy a quarter of that amount or about what would fit in this yellow plastic jar. There's nothing in the law though that says someone can't go from one dispensary to another buying marijuana. As legal pot grows, so does Colorado's revenue. Pot is taxed at 25%. A $90 quarter ounce, about enough to get high eight times, makes the state $22.50 in sales tax. Welcome to our garden. How much is each one of these plants worth? Roughly about $5,000 a plant. Are you rich? No. Not by any means. Marijuana is illegal in the state of Texas. Back here in Houston, prosecutor Joseph Allard warns against bringing pot home, even though penalties aren't stiff. If it was the first time person with a small amount of marijuana, it would be a deferred probation with drug education and eval, uh, random urinalysis to see exactly how much drugs they are using, what are in their system. No jail time. Generally not. At airports, TSA says it focuses on terrorism and pot possession is usually handled by local police. In Texas, many employers can fire you for a positive drug test regardless of where you used marijuana. Adam says that's not stopping people and in fact, he sees an expansion in his future. I'm probably thinking that this business, this, in this industry will probably rival the ski industry in, uh, in the next couple years. It's important to note that marijuana is still illegal under federal law. Most DEA agents, though, make it their mission to go after large-scale marijuana traffickers and people involved in criminal enterprise. In Telluride, Colorado, Jace Larson, KPRC Local 2.